O. Wikipedia article audio. O is the 15th letter and the 4th vowel in the modern English alphabet and the ISO basic Latin alphabet. It is used in words such as opulent and orangutan, as well as names such as Ophelia and Oprah. History Use in writing systems English Other languages Other systems Related characters Descendants and related characters in the Latin alphabet Derived signs, symbols, and abbreviations Ancestors and siblings in other alphabets Computing codes Other representations Its graphic form has remained fairly constant from Phoenician times until today. The name of the Phoenician letter was Ean, meaning eye, and indeed its shape originates simply as a drawing of a human eye. Its original sound value was that of a consonant, probably, the sound represented by the cognate Arabic letter Ain. The use of this Phoenician letter for a vowel sound is due to the early Greek alphabets, which adopted the letter as O omicron to represent the vowel slash O slash. The letter was adopted with this value in the Old Italic alphabets, including the early Latin alphabet. In Greek, a variation of the form later came to distinguish this long sound from the short O. Greek Omicron gave rise to the corresponding Cyrillic letter O and the early Italic letter to runic. Even alphabets that are not derived from Semitic tend to have similar forms to represent this sound. For example, the creators of the Afrika and Ol Chiki scripts, each invented in different parts of the world in the last century, both attributed their vowels for O to the shape of the mouth when making this sound. The letter O is the fourth most common letter in the English alphabet. Like the other English vowel letters, it has associated long and short pronunciations. The long O as in boat is actually most often a diphthong slash O slash to. In English there is also a short O as in fox, slash slash, which sounds slightly different in different dialects. In most dialects of British English, it is either an open mid-back rounded vowel or an open back rounded vowel, in American English, it is most commonly an unrounded back to a central vowel to. Common digraphs include OO, which represents either slash U slash or slash slash, OI or OI, which typically represents the diphthong slash slash, and AO, OE, and OU which represent a variety of pronunciations depending on context and etymology. In other contexts, especially before a letter with a minim, O may represent the sound slash slash, as in sun or love. It can also represent the semi-vowel slash w slash as in choir or quinoa. In English, the letter O in isolation before a noun, usually capitalized, marks the vocative case, as in the titles to O Canada or O Captain. My Captain. Or certain verses of the Bible. O is commonly associated with the open mid-back rounded vowel mid-back rounded vowel or close mid-back rounded vowel in many languages. Other languages use so for various values, usually back vowels which are at least partly open. Derived letters such as O and have been created for the alphabets of some languages to distinguish values that were not present in Latin and Greek, particularly rounded front vowels. In the International Phonetic Alphabet, O represents the close mid-back rounded vowel.